Hello, everyone. We are back. An yep. episode of Minecraft Dungeons. I almost forgot the name. <laughs> it hasn't been that long. It hasn't been that long. No, uh, and we've been here for like 10 minutes getting everything ready, and I still yeah. almost forgot the name. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, so uh, in our last episode, uh, we were going into the second to last mission, so we're just going to go ahead and do some more grinding so we don't get annihilated. Um annihilated in that final battle and not to say that we really couldn't hold our own but it would be it would be a lot more difficult than it needs to be and uh, with it being all arch illagers well illagers in the excuse me all illagers in the last level you're going to need enchantments to defeat illagers and you're going to want some mm. more beefy armor so um i can't you know we need one of us can't keep going down or, or you know we you know you cast it <laughs> kind of be an equal thing there so the best the best way to do it is just to get and grind for gear and creepy crypt mm. is probably the best way to do that I remember that was my first playthrough that's all we did was uh creepy crypt to get and grind for um gear so um did you Let's join the game it. did you join the game yep. or? Uh, it's loading in okay but so I've already told you this story, but I think I'm going to start this episode off with the time I ate a bath bomb by accident. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, let's 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 please do start with that one. That's a that's a that's a great one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so a few years back, uh, I was probably seventeen, eighteen. Uh, there was a cupcake on our one of our tables in the kitchen. So I ate it. It tasted like coconut, and I spit it out. Uh, a few hours later, my my mother comes in di to the room and says, uh, "Who ate this bath bomb?" Oh God! And I was like, uh, "Bath bomb? Bath bomb?" <laughs> that that I know. I don't think I told you that's how I found out. No, 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 no. It's not. You left that part out. But that's <laughs> that's very that's that's. I didn't remember funny. until after I told you that. Like, <laughs> and I didn't spit it out because I knew it was a bath bomb. I didn't spit it out because. No, it, t it tasted like harsh chemicals. I taste. Uh, I spit it out because it tasted like coconut. Oh, that's not what gave it away. <laughs> that's that's not what gave it away. It was the fact that it tasted like coconut. Nope. <laughs> that is and, a that's a hundred percent a you a you moment right there for sure. That's and you're probably wondering, Christian, how are you not dead? <laughs> Well, I mean, people ate Tide Pods. I mean, that's I mean, they're they're still alive. I, 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 you'd hope. True. I think, I think uh, like one. I, I think it was a little bite. Um, no, it was a decent bite, but I spit it out immediately because it tasted like coconut. So mm. I don't think I got hardly any of it actually in me. I, I just I had it in my mouth and I spit it out. So. Well, I mean, that's. It you t it's a valuable lesson you learned and and what was that what was the lesson there? Don't trust uh uh food on the counter. I wow I butchered that. That was the I mean if that was the lesson that's the lesson. Ah, dang. If something looks too good, at, like if you see some if you see a certain food that you see. Regularly, like a muffin, and it looks like perfect. Well, yeah. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. Okay. Life, so that was a life life lesson. Put it on the put it on the screen. <laughs> don't trust. That was a... Don't trust cupcakes or muffins or pastries of any kind on the table. They look too good to be true. Life Ask lesson. before you eat. Yeah, I th that might be that might be the better lesson there. Ask before you eat. I did not ask, and the. Uh... Pay the consequences. Gosh, I'm getting messed up, man. I think <laughs> it's I think it's because of the staff that I have. I remember, like, I didn't really. Oh, here we go. Roll the dice here. What do we get? Uh, I got. What did I get? It's a it's a debuff. Oh, uh, oh, and I picked it up. Okay. No, it's I mean it's what happens when you defeat. That's kind of a newer feature with this is that they. <laughs> Please do not tell me you just fell in that hole with that new controller. <laughs> <laughs> well, not because of what you think. Yeah. I just, I was talking and got distracted. Yeah. Also, update, Christian got a new controller. 
Yes. We 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 dug through the archives and found him a uh, very a very much brand new in the package PS4 controller. Uh, mm -hmm. So he doesn't keep quick rolling into uh, the abyss. So that's uh, that's good. Maybe that will help us. But so far it hasn't been. It hasn't really. We're not really off to a great start. <laughs> I'm also not used to this staff. It's it's I'm used to the uh the two-handed sword that I had. This thing it, this thing has decent enchantments, but it's not um uh, it's not quite what I need, especially for what we're doing. This my sword is really short too. Okay. Yeah, I think I think I have my other sword in the um in the on the blacksmith and um uh, it hopefully should boost it up and I'll probably grab it after we get maybe after this run of creepy crypt. Um, I'll grab it. I also joined a dating website called Drop the Hanky. Oh, let's go. Yep. And, uh, you were telling me a little bit after that it happened, you were saying that it, uh, you were going to get featured on the site. Like, like, how does that work exactly? I'm still kind of unclear. I think, uh, like every month they choose somebody, or choose probably more than one person, maybe a few people. I am littered with arrows, but, uh, they choose either one person or a few people, and they feature your video, like your introduction video, on the website, and they keep it up for for thirty days. And uh, people, uh, well, hopefully some ladies will hit you up on the gram. Mm, there you go. And I think you can make multiple videos if, like, it's not just a one and done thing. So, I mean, with your video though, were you just were you were you honest? Did you? I mean, what did you what did you say? Mm -hmm. or, is that, or is that just for the privacy of you and your uh, potential date? No, uh, just uh, mentioned that I like reading books, like gaming, uh, play with my friends a lot. We have a YouTube channel called Shady Wheels. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you plug the channel. Okay, okay. <laughs> Shameless plug. And, uh, yeah, I just mentioned that I was a youth leader for a couple years. Oh, okay. Well, see, that's that's always good. And is it is it a... Uh, is it exclusively just for for a demographic, or is it kind of open for everybody? Um, huh. like they have the targeted sites for like you know like farmers only, a Christian mingle. Is it one of those kinds of sites, or is it? It's a Christian open? dating website. Oh, okay, so. okay, okay. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, no, it's a Christian dating that, website, and that's fine. And I was just I was just seeing if it was a, like a dim, you had like like minded people, or it was just kind of everyone. Yeah, there's gonna be other Christian women. Me. Oh, hopefully that goes well. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Twenty-five, man. Kiss lonely. Jeez. He, ah, he got me in the corner. I forget how oh. tough those guys are. They're just the ones with the banners. Yes. Mm. See if we get a debuff. Yep. Yeah, our threat uh, level is increased, so the mobs are gonna. Minecraft yeah. music is one very peaceful, two very powerful, like very loud. I mean, yeah, no, it's I, like peaceful, but it's loud. I agree. Like I can't tell if I'm speaking at an appropriate volume or if I'm like screaming. Oh, no, you're right not now. yelling. You're not yelling. <laughs> now I have it regulated on on my mic. I have uh, I have everything kind of like more. It's more so the uh, audio. Excuse me. The um. The uh, our audio, like our talking audio, mm -hmm. voice audio, more so than the game audio. Mm -hmm. I don't Mainly, know if you guys saw. Go ahead, go, I'm sorry. Go, go, ahead. Ahead. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. I was saying I I don't know if you guys uh, saw our, I think it's second to last video because I posted it short, but I was just a video asking what you guys want to see us play after we complete this. So. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No. And to to, to piggyback on that, um, it, <clears throat> we're only reason we're starting with this is a it's a good introduction for us to play. Um, we can we're open to playing any sort of content um we are both on the playstation uh network 
Uh, so it'll be mainly PlayStation games, unfortunately, for right now until we can venture out into other on other platforms. Um, but we're open to playing anything. Um, I just recently have started my first playthrough of. Um, I actually just finished it as of the, as of today of this recording. Um, the Horizon Far West, um, um, and it was a fantastic game. I really enjoyed playing it, and um, mm -hmm. it. Uh, you know, we can play games like that and um, co-op games um, like the new uh, Tiny Tina game, um, Wonderlands. Um, and so, I mean, it's open it up to what you want to see, because, I mean, nothing's really off the table unless it's, you know, I, it's a, a gaming, like a hardware limitation, put it that mm -hmm. way. But, yeah, we're curious to see what you guys want us to play. Yep. Um, uh, <clears throat> I've been playing her the first Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'm stuck on a boss. Uh, it's the w walking turret thing. Which... It, as much as I want to say I know exactly what you're talking about, there are so many walking turrets in that game. I've uh, tried to ask you what it was, and I, I, I guess I'm speaking a foreign language. I, I, it, I'd have to watch you play it to see where you are. But, I mean, that game, it's much like with uh, the second one now. Um, I mean, you walk into situations and you just get absolutely destroyed. But uh, mainly, what I've been, what I've been, you know, talking with some of my friends and uh, most of other folks that are playing right now, um, they're playing Elden Ring. So, I mean, I, I would not be surprised if that's the next game we end up playing, and we'll have to mm -hmm. figure out how we're going to set that up. But I'd really honestly like to see you, Christian, play it over me. Just because I feel like everybody would get more enjoyment out of your reactions than anything. And then having me just kind of piggyback off of uh, what's going on. <laughs> like, would... I don't anger easily, but when I do, it the, the reactions can be pretty... Uh... Yeah. Like, when I get angry, I'm not like the usually the screaming type or like the... Like, I'm... I tend to seethe in my rage and yeah, you get quiet. <laughs> yeah, but my commentary becomes noticeably more witty. I think. Oh gosh! No! 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 <sighs> All right. Well, we're cutting that one short. <laughs> so, uh, do we get any XP when we get a game we, over? We got the XP that we we got uh, that we earned but we didn't get any um anything uh we didn't get any loot because uh we didn't complete the mission um uh. let me just see because i i like this thing but it's it, i'm just getting absolutely decimated mm. so i don't i don't really know like it's what enchantments on this let me try and respec real quick and i can't buy anything better right now it's yeah. Yeah, I, I would really just hang on to it because I mean we're really just hanging on to what we have right now. But I mean, as you rank up, I mean it you you're gonna want to grab better gear because if you stay with the same stuff, you're gonna get slowly but surely, um, you know, you're gonna get destroyed. Uh, what I found is, I mean, when you get with the when you get better stuff that has like the three tier level enchantments. Uh, uh you're gonna want to stick with that kind of stuff. Like I mean, yeah, you it, there's exceptions to that rule. But, um, it's kind of at your own pace. Like, I like, my thing was, is that each play style that I have, it, it depends on the weapon that I have. Um, mm -hmm. like, I mean, that Warhammer, that Gravity Hammer I had was really, really good. That's why I tried to hang on to it as long as I could, and then it just eventually just, it got to be where it was really useless. So, I had to dismantle it. So, that's what I'm trying to do mm -hmm. right now. Like, this thing right here, the, um... Dancer sword is good. It's just not what it needs to be. I mean, there's other things that I have here in my in my inventory that have better stats, and I probably should switch to it because, you know, it's it, it just it just wouldn't it's what needs to happen. Cause uh, I like it, but it's not it's not really what I need to do. <laughs> uh -huh. So go ahead and just salvage that. Um, <sighs> I feel like this sword might be too short. I... What do you, what are you using? Let me let me see if I can help you. Uh, using the 
Hawk brand. Yeah, Hawk brand. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, okay, better bow. Well, this is a better bow apparently, but it's not the butterfly crossbow, so it does. Well, I mean, I know that you like you're very fond of that, and it it works. I, honestly, though, the best the best bow and crossbow attack uh, enchantment is the explosive one, the one that sends everything as, as bombs. That's the best one. I mean, it just you just spam it, and it just, it literally just decimates everything. Um, there's really nothing more to that. It's just in my experience. There, I mean, there's other people that have played this, and I've seen their play style, and it's just. Like I, I think I see it right here. So hang on, let me. Uh, it's uh, well they have fuse shot, which is a good one, but it's also you're gonna want uh, I think that it's just it's a it's a type of bow. So let me excuse myself. Mm -hmm. It's a type of bow. It's the um, it's an explosive bow, but I can't remember exactly the um, the name of it. It's just it's the expl I think it's just called an explosive bow. It's it's mm -hmm. really really good, really good. There's an item in the upgrade thing right now. I think it says upgrading item. So. Okay. Yeah, we had the we we're gonna have to complete missions in order to to, to do that. Let's see. Here. This thing's really slow, but I feel like with the mushroom it should speed it up. Yeah, that works. Okay. Well, uh, I'll just run this for now. Do you want to try creepy crypt again? Sure. Okay. We'll try it again. There's a joke I heard a few days ago, and I, I was holding it in until we recorded it, but now I can't remember it. Ah, oh, tragedy. Tragedy. Mm. Tragedy, tragedy. Should have brought a list. Yeah, I've been, like, on my phone, I, I try and remember everything that you say, because there's a lot of gems that you say, like, you better don't. That was a gem, and I did not want to forget it, so I wrote it down because I would have been really, really upset that I forgot that mm. for whatever reason. But it's just become like that's like our little gaming clicks, like little uh, our little saying now is you better don't when somebody does something or somebody's cat's acting up in the background or uh, or something along those lines. It's just it's you better don't. Or you'd better tell him better don't or something like that. And I forget exactly how that came to came to came to light, but it was like earlier when we were when we were talking before we started recording when I was playing Horizon, where you checked out on me for a minute and you were talking about Snapchat and you just checked out on me and was like, Yeah, it's like whenever I uh whenever I reboot and then you just stop talking and I was like, So you're a robot. You like you like the you like the Zuck? Where, <laughs> and then he really just set it up for that. But I mean, it, it you have gems like that. We okay. So for that one, uh, okay, I can't lose my memory. I'm explaining. Don't this. check out on us, please. <laughs> uh, I was talking about how sometimes I'll get a notification on my phone from like Snapchat or yeah. Well, mainly it's mainly Snapchat, and then uh. When I go to uh, the notification to see what it is, there will be nothing there. And what was it I said again? Oh, yeah. Uh, I yeah. said when I boot up Snapchat. Oh, yes, yeah, when you boot up. Yeah, that's what it was. No, yeah. I was going to say that, but when I said boot up, I I think I slurred my words. So I kind of – I stopped talking in the middle of saying booting up. So it just sounded <laughs> like I said when I boot up. Yeah. It happens, you know. I boot up, you boot up, you know. We, she, he. Yeah, it's like Wumbo. It's funny. But yeah, I mean, you have gyms like that all the time, and it's just like, you, and genuinely, you don't know you do them, and that's why it's so funny, because like, then we just start laughing in the background, and you're like, what? What's so funny? And it's like, you you, you said this, and like, I did? And it's just like, yeah, yeah, you did. But it's all and then the, the realization slowly creeps in. Yeah, and it's like, oh. Sense. And then, then you have that like that midnight thought, like you're just staring at the ceiling, like, have I done this my whole life? And then you just contemplate everything, just like our. Uh, do you want to start with that with that story from earlier, where you were talking about the journal that you thought you lost, uh, and then you ended up remembering that you 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 panicked writing. I'll let you tell the story, but you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. 
So, for backstory, uh, speaking of notifications, I just got one, but I don't care about it. Uh, speaking of, uh, well, uh, uh, Con and I in the fourth grade used to have journals that we wrote in, and I mean, we basically just wrote whatever we wanted into them, and, uh, well, no, yeah, there was that, and then there was, uh, some journals that we wrote in every morning, uh, just for class, like, because the teacher wanted us to for whatever reason. Yeah, uh, like, the, like the topics would range from like, what did you eat for dinner last night? Or what are you looking forward to for today's yeah. lesson? Or, you know, something like that. Just mm-hmm. to get the, you know, the, the, the brain active, the brain housing group going. Anyway, keep going. Yeah, and uh, one of the topics one day was, what are 10 things that are, I think it was 10 things. What are some things that make a good teacher? And uh, yeah, it was 10 things. And I got through nine relatively easily. But on that 10th one, I just, like, my brain blanked, and I could not think of one for the life of me. So, I I panic wrote her looks. <laughs> like, and I was, th- as I was writing, I was thinking, I don't want to write this, and it's not true at all, but I can't think of anything else. I have to complete this. <laughs> and then, uh, our teacher would, uh, write things, like, whenever we turn in our journals, our teacher would write basically comments at the bottom of our page like just whatever she thought about what we wrote and on the bottom of mine she wrote really (laughs) (laughs) i'm sorry and you were wondering why we never got that journal back is because she kept it because she wanted to show that off to like their future future students don't do what this guy did (laughs) you know (laughs) and you were thinking oh man Connor must have that. No, I never got it. I didn't have it. That's probably what you should have led with instead <laughs> of what thought, you... <laughs> For a time, I thought I lost it. And then just today, like, that realization didn't come to me until today. Like, Almost, what? 15-something years yeah, after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. that's probably why she didn't that's give us That's where that, that is. <laughs> because I said something very uh, egotistical. Well, egotistical, I don't know if that's... Mm, something that shouldn't have been said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah, I mean, that's cla- it's a classic Christian moment. That's 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 where we are right now. But that's 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 you down to a T. Um, but yeah, we were talking about that earlier, and it was like, where does that come from? Because it strikes me, it just it poses this next question. At night, do you just lay in bed and think like, you know, because I think everybody does it every once in a while, where they're like, man, that was really cringy that I, you know, that really cringy thought that you know that thing that you did like in like middle school or you know on a date or whatever and it's like you have that really cringe moment where it's like man i really did that and it's like why am i thinking about this now yeah like why are you why am i thinking about this right now i'm trying to go to bed every night with me oh wow yeah i think like from i'll think about something for sure that like and could be something big that you should you know no well it'll be something that maybe something big that i did i generally shouldn't have done or it could be something as simple as that, they're like, why am I thinking about this <laughs> X amount of years I'm really later. surprised you haven't texted me in the middle of the night and be like, hey man, you remember this? I'm like, nah, man, I don't, I don't, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. I uh, have deeply contemplated it, I just don't know when your sleep schedule is. Uh, so. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you can shoot me a text, like I said, man, like I told you before, like, my phone line's always open, but I, I you may or may not get a text message until the next morning, because I I have this problem where it's a good problem I guess is whenever I lay down my head hits the pillow and about you know 4 seconds later I'm asleep. Um mm-hmm. and I it's a good problem to have I feel like but it's also bad if you're getting tired playing a video game and you're like hey man I need to take a break real quick and then you just pass out and then just never come back to mic cuz I do that all the time. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. And I aggravate a lot of people doing that. And uh <laughs> We'll be in the middle of a conversation. I'll send a text and like just nothing comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's 
it's been one of those kinds of it's it's that kind of thing with me. I mean, it's I think it's a good problem to have because I mean, when you're mm-hmm. tired, you're tired. But I mean, like it's not like one of those ones where you can just one of those kinds of not I might even say it's a disease, but uh, conditions where like you can fall asleep. Like I can fall asleep almost anywhere, but like I'm not gonna like fall asleep like driving. I've never done that because that's mm-hmm. you know like if I'm if I'm trying to drive and I'm sleeping, I'm not and I'm tired. I'm not I'm not gonna drive. Cause that's dangerous. But like, you know, if I'm home after a long day at work or I'm like on, on a work trip or something and I go back to the hotel and I'm like, Hey man, like, um, I just need to go to sleep. Like, that's just what happens. I mean, I'll go order like something like, you know, Taco Bell or, uh, you know, Burger King or McDonald's on DoorDash or something like that and get one of those like, you know, Big Mac, the meals that are meant for two people you eat you pound the whole thing down then you pass out and wake up the next morning and hate yourself because you just ate a meal for two people you know it, you uh, drop a like and a comment if that's if, if you've ever eaten <laughs> if you've ever been in a situation where you've ordered a bunch of food that you <laughs> you probably shouldn't eat by yourself but you did and then you regretted it afterwards but you know but you still do it i still do it all the time it's just Addicting. Oh, excuse me. Tell us your your horror stories of eating too much and then getting like I don't want to say deathly ill. That's an exaggeration, but getting sick. I mean, so most recently, I uh, when I was in California uh, uh, for a work trip, I um, I went to I ordered food on DoorDash because sometimes you can get exclusive deals on um or not exclusive deals but you can get deals on um on DoorDash and you can get like more food like you can get like uh you know for instance with uh Taco Bell you could uh, get okay. a taco a taco pack for like it was like a box of tacos for like 15 bucks which is like all right cool bet that's awesome um and yeah. then you end up getting you know you get said box of tacos and uh, I think I got the Doritos Locos pack. It was like uh, ten tacos, just mixed, and it was mostly Doritos Locos. And I remember mm-hmm. I was watching. I was getting ready to get YouTube on, and I went over. I walked down because this is how I justify it. I I go and I say, Hey, I'm gonna walk to the Taco Bell and then walk back. That way, I don't feel guilty about eating all this Taco Bell. Mm. And uh, so that's what I did. I walked back into the hotel room. I have the Taco Bell. I kick my shoes off. Turn on uh, to catch a predator because that's like my my guilty pleasure when I'm eating. You know, when I'm eating, is to watch Chris Hansen tell tell people to take a seat. I think that's awesome. I've I've watched almost all the episodes. Um, finish that cookie. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want that cookie. <laughs> yeah, look at that physique. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then what I'll do is is uh. I'll eat it, and I remember I was eating these these tacos, and I was like, "Man, this is good!" Like, ah, like I was drinking some. Um, I went to the, I had gone to the gas station after work and got uh, some uh, un- the Under Armour. Well, that's not Under Armour, but it's that Armour fruit juice and some Powerades and a giant thing of water. Just drinking mm. all that, and I was like, "Man, this is good." I am, you know, I am, I am getting it, and. I think as soon as I ate that last taco, uh, like, which is, mind you, this is like 10 tacos. I'm just down and like, just not even breathing. I'm just eating these things. And, uh, I think it was like 30 to 45 minutes later. I, uh, I don't remember. I was like mid episode. I laid down on the little couch in the room. I had to hit a pillow down and I woke, I, well, I, I laid down and then, woke back up like five hours later and my stomach was just killing me and i was like Mm. what am i supposed to do like i I just laid there and i was just in agony i was like man is this the end yeah is this the end is this how i go out and uh unfortunately i uh i saw the tacos again shortly after um not a very pleasant experience i won't say you know i won't go into detail about that but you see the tacos again and it's not you know it gets in your nose and it burns and it's not fun and, oh yeah and it was like 
I'm never eating Taco Bell again. And then like two days later, I ate Taco Bell again because <laughs> I can't help myself. I have really bad self-control when it comes to food. Uh, but it was, I mean, it was, it was pretty rough. I, I don't, I don't, I don't can, you know, I don't like overeating, but there are days where it's like, I really, oh, well, let me wrap up that story and we can continue it in the next episode. Let's do it.